What's up guys? Got another figure review for you here today. This is for the Hot Toys T2 Terminator 2 Judgment Day T800 figure. So yeah, let's get started. Right now you're looking at the box. I'll come back here a little bit. That's the box. I've got the figure behind the box. I'm trying to hide it. Uh, there's a side right there. In the back you got a little short description. I won't read it because I'm sure you don't care. This is the 117th figure from the movie Masterpiece series. And there you go. And then, get up here for a second. This is a sleeve that comes up like this. There we go. To reveal the figure that's not inside the box. Uh, says right down there, Terminator 2. If you move it, there you go, T2. On the back, you see the nice Schwarzenegger sculpt. Right there, you got the credits for the figure. And yeah, scoot it in closer and do the big reveal. Okay, and now what you've all been waiting for, the man himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So yeah, I've kind of got him in the uh, come with me if you want to live pose. Move him in a little closer there. Uh, here, take it off. So there's the sculpt for you. Quite impressive if I say so myself. Uh, this is my second Hot Toys figure. The first being um, the original costume Batman. Dark Knight's uh, Dark Knight line. But uh, yeah, when you don't have a lot of money and you can only buy so many figures, you kind of have to buy the most important ones. So I was actually looking to buy the DX uh, Joker figure, but I didn't want to pay 200 for him. So I figured, eh, I'll go with I'll go with Arnold. So I'm a big uh, Schwarzenegger fan. Terminator 2 is an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it right now. Turn this off. But uh, yeah, let's get down with the uh, review here. So. Do a little 360 like that, so you can kind of see all around. You'll see that he has uh, zippers. I'm not sure that doesn't go up. I know the ones by the uh, the pants. These come up. Uh, I know the these ones don't. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's start with the uh, accessories. So the first one we have here is the shotgun. I'll go like this so you can see it better. Um, I forget what it's called. I think it's a Winchester. Uh, but yeah, that opens up. You can see a blue shotgun shell in there. It doesn't come out, but uh, yeah, it's there. Is that there? Oh, it would be... Uh, Behind the jacket right here, I've got his 1911 pistol. There you go. The uh, hammer comes back like that, and the slide comes back, and the clip comes out like that. that back. Hammer back for safety measures. Okay, and then next we have the we have the rose box for the, the scene where Arnold um, came into the mall with the shotgun in the rose box. You can open it up. Got some roses in here. They look fairly real. Lift this up. And you can hide the shotgun inside. Like that. Next, we have the uh, the endoskeleton arm. Um, there's a lot of people online saying that this is kind of a nuisance. Little things like the fingers have been known to break off. Mine haven't yet, but 
I can see how they would. They're very, very fragile. But um, with that, I mean, you can you can have a variety of poses with these fingers. But I wouldn't move them too much. Um, at first, I didn't think this moved, but I, with a little force, I got this to spin. So I don't know if anyone else out there knows that, but this does spin. But it was kind of stuck when I first got it. And I'm also reading that a lot of people are having trouble uh, getting this to attach to the other arm. I found a hair dryer to be a very useful tool to do that. So if you're having trouble with that, try a hair dryer. Uh, the next thing we have is the gray shirt. This was worn in the second half of the film, where they um, raided the Cyberdyne building. And uh, right now he's wearing the black shirt that he wore in the first half of the film, where he was in the mall and on the motorcycle and stuff. But yeah, they were nice enough to give you both. Um, I didn't have too much trouble getting changing the shirts. You've got to pop the head off. But um, that wasn't too hard. Over here we've got uh, two more sets of hands. Got the typical fists that Hot Toys gives you. And then you've got... Um, this is kind of a kind of a clenched it's it's for the shotgun shotgun fits right in there from when he's holding that and this is just an open hand put over here oh and they were nice enough to give you uh, two pegs in case you break them and also there's the instruction manual that it comes with that uh let me get this to focus there we go that talks about the uh, ways to do the head um, it's all kind of hard to read because it's uh, Chinese, but whatever. So moving on up here, getting closer. Now I'm not sure what this body's called. It's not the true type. It's a um, underneath. He's got kind of like a rubber muscle kind of texture. Um. I don't know, but it, it's got good articulation. It doesn't do everything. I mean, like as you can see here, this is as far as his arm will go up right here. It won't go any further. But that's okay. Small little gripe. Let's see if I can get even closer here. Um, what he was talking about in the manual, it was saying that if the head is looking down, you shouldn't spin it like this way. You should have them look up and then turn it. I guess it says that because um, you can leave little marks right here on the uh, rubber neck. But uh, yeah, here I'm gonna... Sorry Arnie. I'm just gonna do this so I can give everyone as close of a look to the head as possible. The camera doesn't do it justice, but I mean, this is just an amazing job. When you put, the, oh, you know what? I forgot the the main uh, uh, thing. Uh, what's it called? Accessory. Uh, I'm forgetting words here. Yes, but uh, that looks just like Arnold. Looking across the room, it looks like a real man is standing. A little real man is standing right there. But put the head back on there. So now what you've all been waiting for the glasses. And they fit on there perfectly. I actually prefer the look without the glasses just to show off the sculpt, but quite a uh, quite a pair of glasses I might add. They actually, you can actually see through them, maybe if I put it up to the light, I can kind of see it. But, uh, they even have the little white line there. Uh, there you go, you can kind of see it, that was on the original glasses. But yeah, there is Arnold. This is looking at the time, this is probably going to be a two-parter, but, uh, yeah, so, 
there is the Arnold Schwarzenegger T-800 Hot Toys figure. I don't know if I'm going to be getting the T-1000, but um, for now, there you go. Get in there, more. I'll be back. I know, that's bad. Catch you guys later. Uh, more reviews to come.